Well, it's been a couple months here since we built the uh, the wedding triangle, the wedding backdrop. This was used uh, for a marriage retreat and for a uh, wedding, a renewal of vows that was done up there. So we've seen quite a few of these around on the internet, on Pinterest and uh, Instagram and other places. These are kind of becoming fairly popular, it seems, for wedding backdrops. So uh, this is a pretty easy one to build. So let me just take you in close and show you uh, kind of how everything turned out. So we did add a, uh, a sign up at the top. That's just a piece of uh, shiplap. And I used our laser engraver to uh, engrave that in there. Of course, you could use a, uh, a board with white paint and you could draw or stencil uh, something on there if you wanted to put you know, the last names of the people getting married or something else that's significant. Uh, this is just stuff that was bought. Uh, some of this I think was bought on Amazon or maybe at the dollar stores. And my wife put this together and it's just wrapped with some jute twine and then I've just put a brass screw uh, in there so you don't really see it too much. So we used two brass screws to mount the, the board to the, uh, the triangle itself. So Reset was the name of the marriage retreat that we uh, used this for. That's why we have that word there. Using the, the torch to uh, stain this or wood burn this uh, works really well and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily um, seal the wood. I mean, it does a little bit. It, it does kind of cauterize the, the pores in the wood, so it does help the wood last a little bit longer, but it's not like, like a good stain would be. The legs, is one thing I was worried about was the legs um, and the supports and everything that I had on here, but with the wood glue and the extra little supports on each side, this thing has held up really well. It has been tossed in trailers and hauled in and out of the backs of uh, resort of, of event centers and uh, hit doors and hit walls and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of awkward to carry around and so uh, it has held up really well. Uh, the joinery that I used up here is kind of a half lap and that uh, is, is super solid. So you've got the, the wood glue and then you've got five screws that uh, are on the back. So uh, this thing, again, it's been twisted and turned and beat up and hauled all over the place and it is solid. So hopefully you enjoyed the, the building of the wedding triangle or wedding backdrop. This was especially significant for the marriage retreat that we were part of because uh, we use a triangle a lot of times as an example of how uh, a marriage should be pointed towards God. And so we have a husband and a wife at the bottom two corners of a triangle. And as we draw closer to God, who is at the, the upper point, uh, husbands and wives will draw closer to one another. And so uh, that's part of the significance of using this design for the marriage retreat and also for a lot of weddings, I think. Hopefully you guys find this, uh, this useful and easy to build. Uh, and hopefully some of you out there can uh, build this for a friend or family member or even for yourself. If you have questions about measurements or design or anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments. I will try to answer those, uh, all those questions and put any information that you need down below. Don't forget to hit thumbs up, of course. And if this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe, tag along to the SSL Family Dad channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.